Hey teachers, welcome back to this Zoom for Teachers series. And the last video I showed you how to set up your first meeting so that you can start teaching your first class. So if you're still not sure how to do that, make sure to go back to that first video because this video is going to be all about the tools that you can use for teaching once you're in your first meeting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, there are so many awesome tools that you can use to teach your students using Zoom. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer and let's get started with our first meeting. All right, guys, you're gonna see that I am logged into my Zoom account on the website and I've clicked on a meeting that I already created and to get started, I'm just gonna click start this meeting. And it's probably going to ask you to launch the application. Go ahead and do that. And then you will see that it launches your Zoom meeting straight away. So now that we're in here, I want to show you some of the really helpful tools that you can use to teach. So anytime you move your mouse, you're going to see this bar pop up on the bottom of the screen. Um, and we're, we're just going to move straight across it. I'm going to go over all of the features. So right here is your mute. Um, you want this to be showing for you at all time because you want to be talking. If you click it, it Oops, you guys couldn't hear me. If you click it and you see a line through it, that means that you are muted and your students can't hear you. So your students should have a line through theirs the majority of the time, but yours should not. You can also click on this and change your sound settings if you need to. Now, if you need to get up for a minute and you don't want students to see you, you can click stop video and it will just change to a black screen for a minute. Now, Manage Participants is really helpful because as your students log in, you can click on this and it will give you a list of all of the people that are in your meeting. So this is a good way to take attendance. If you hover over anybody, you can also mute them. So let's say one of your students unmuted themselves. That happens sometimes because students don't realize, I'm not sure if it's a single click or a double click on the space bar will unmute you. And so if they do that accidentally, you can come in here and hover over somebody and you can mute them. And if you want the participants bar to go away, just click on that again. Um, we're gonna skip over share. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. Now chat is very helpful. This is where your students can be posting their questions and talking to you while you teach. Um, so to make that come up or go away, just click on this. Oh, and one thing as well that I want to point out is you can actually decide who can see your messages. So they're automatically going to go to everyone, but you can also just send messages to certain people, which is helpful. Now here is the record button. Now I had recommended when I showed you how to set up your meeting in the previous video that you have it automatically record your meetings for you. And then you don't have to worry about that. But let's say you forget to uh, set that up in advance. You can go here and you can actually click record on this computer and it will start recording for you. So that way you can still get the video of what's going on even if you forgot to uh, set it up that way initially. Now let's go back to share. This is really helpful because this allows you to share your screen. So if there is a website that you want to use, just have the website open on your computer and then it will pop up as an option here. You can click it and share it with your students. Um, same thing if you've created a slideshow. I do that pretty common or pretty often in PowerPoint. Have the PowerPoint open and then it will pop up here and you'll just click on it. The other thing that is really helpful is this whiteboard tool. And I really like this tool for teaching math. Um, you can write problems um, and you can also do text and type out different things but the whiteboard tool is really helpful if like I said particularly for math but if you have anything that you need to write out or draw out that tool is really great and then when you're finished using it you just click stop share now one thing that does not show up on my panel here but it should show up for your students is a little hand icon and students can click on that and it's a raise hand 
and then you'll get a little notification that somebody has their hand raised. You're not gonna see that because since you're leading the meeting, you don't need to raise your hand. So some of the options are gonna look a little different for your students. Um, now another thing I wanna show you here is if you click on this arrow, it gives you a few more other options. Um, and this will allow you to decide whether students can share their screens or not. I really don't recommend multiple participants sharing simultaneously because especially if you have a lot of students, it can get confusing really quickly. So that is basically your features that you have to use during your meeting. So I hope those are helpful to you. And then when you are finished, you're just gonna click in meeting and then click in meeting for all. Okay, now that you know how to set up your first meeting, you know all the tools that you can use inside of Zoom, you are on your way to being a Zoom rock star in no time. I'm gonna be coming back in more videos to show you more fun tools and applications that you can use to really engage your students and to get the most out of using Zoom. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of those videos that are coming up soon. Happy teaching.